Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I've got some breaking news coming out here for you. So just today, Ukraine has lowered their conscription age to 25 to refill the Ukrainian depleted military. Okay, so this is really big news here. And uh, Ukraine's been talking about wanting to uh, refill their ranks and, and boost their troop size which I thought is interesting because we've also seen some other reports saying that Zelensky said they had plenty of troops, that they weren't needing to do this, and then out of nowhere, now they're doing this. So it really makes you wonder, is the Ukrainian military really suffering that bad? I think it is. I think they've lost a lot of a lot more people than what he's stating. I think uh, recently in the last month, Zelensky said they lost like 34,000 troops so far during this uh, during this war. And I think they've lost much more than that if they're having to conscript much more soldiers. So uh, they lowered their draft age from 27 to 25. And Zelensky signed it into law, uh, this new conscription age of 25, aiming to bolster the Ukrainian armed forces with up to 500,000 more soldiers. So obviously something big is coming here. And uh, we've got reports that Russia could be launching a major offensive this summer. We'll have to see if they do that. But regardless, this war is going to continue to drag on. And in order for this war to drag on, they not only need ammunition, but they need troops. So this is why they're doing this. So Zelensky also came out and said if there are enough arguments to mobilize 25-year-olds, and this is something we, uh, we, we really need to do, I will agree with it, Okay, is what he said. If this is really something we need to do, I will agree with it. So uh, he has agreed to sign this into law. And uh, I, they're apparently in a desperate situation here. And this goes to show, too, that uh, majority of the elderly people that have been uh, conscripted into the military already, this shows, too, that a lot of them have probably been wiped out. If they're having to dip into the younger population, which majority of the population in uh, Ukraine is, is elderly people, okay? There's much more elderly people than there is younger people. And for them having to dip into the, the younger population... Of Ukraine, this goes to show desperation as well. So we know that things are not good over there with Ukraine. We know they're very low on uh, weaponry right now too. So they're trying to do whatever they can to uh, bolster their military and hold the line on the eastern side of the country, which we've had lots of reports that uh, near Avdivka they're having to fall back as well and uh, they're losing ground. Okay, so I want to show you this article on AP News. Ukraine lowers its conscription age to 25 to replenish its beleaguered troops. Goes on to say here, Ukraine lowered its draft eligible age for men, for men from 27 to 25 on Wednesday, reflecting the strain that more than two years of war with Russia has put on its military and the need to infuse its depleted ranks with new conscripts. President Vladimir Zelensky signed three bills into law aimed at strengthening the country's beleaguered forces, which are trying to hold the front lines in fighting that has snapped Ukraine's ranks and stores of, of weapons and ammunition. The new laws, which will also do away with some draft exemptions and create an online registry for recruits, might add around 50,000 troops to the military, said Oksana uh, Zabol Zabolatna, an analyst with the Center for United Actions, a government watchdog in Kiev. That would be a tenth of the 500,000 additional troops that Zelensky said in December that the military wanted to mobilize. But after signing a security agreement with Finnish President uh, Alexander Stubb in Kiev on Wednesday, Zelensky said an audit requested by Ukraine's newly appointed commander-in-chief determined that the 500,000 fig figure was wrong, partly because existing troops could be sent from the rear to the front. He didn't say why that option wasn't uh, considered previously. Interesting. So Zelensky also said he wasn't ready to say publicly how many new conscripts the Ukrainian army will need. I can say that Russia is preparing to mobilize an additional 300,000 military personnel on June 1st. That's a pretty huge uh, amount. And I've done multiple reports of uh, Russia talking about that they're uh, upping their, um, their troop numbers as well. And by the end of the year, they plan to create something like 16 new brigades. Uh, so quite a few... Uh, tens of thousands of troops will be added by the end of the year, if not hundreds of thousands. Ukrainian Defense Ministry uh, statistics say that the country's military had nearly 800,000 troops in October. That doesn't include National Guard or other units. 
In total, 1 million Ukrainians are in uniform, including about 300,000 who are serving on the front lines. Conscription has been a sensitive matter amid Ukraine's growing shortages of infantry and ammunition, which have helped give Russia the battlefield initiative. Russia's own uh, problems with manpower and planning have so far prevented it from taking full advantage of its edge. And it says here, the average soldier age on both sides is over 40, military analysts say. Some Ukrainians worry that uh, lowering the minimum conscription age to 25 and taking more young adults out of the workforce could backfire by further harming the war-ravaged economy which is why the draft age wasn't simply set at 18. But the problem has become more pressing because Kiev is expecting a renewed push by Russian forces this spring or summer. So definitely some big problems here, right? Uh, Ukraine is is, uh, facing a shortage of troops, and they obviously need to boost their troop numbers. But at the same time, they can't conscript um, all of their their younger population because they need people in the workforce too to maintain their economy. So if they don't maintain their economy, they could collapse. So... This is obviously a, a, uh, a big problem for them. And then we're also facing a potential uh, summer uh, summer push from the from the Russians. Okay, so, and th- this could actually come sooner. There was talks about it happening during the spring, but it looks like more likely this is going to happen probably this summer. Um, according to the timeline of, of Russia coming out and announcing as well, they're going to be boosting their troop numbers uh, by June. So, um, yeah. Crazy news, again, that this just shows here that this war is going to continue and Ukraine's doing everything they can to stay in this fight. And again, if they're having to lower their conscription number to 25, or age, excuse me, uh, then that just goes to show that uh, they're struggling to get troops within that age group that they had before, which was a much uh, older population. And they're having to dip into this this lower age here to just to maintain this fight. So let me know what you think down below. Share your thoughts and opinions. Just wanted to get this out there to you, get that information. So that way you can know what's going on over here. Uh, let us know what you think down below. Share your thoughts and opinions. If you got something out of this, please smash that like button. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in. Everybody take care and God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.